Hey folks, welcome back. Bitwig Studio just released 5.3 Beta 5 and I hope this is the last beta release before they go stable. Probably, I guess, on Friday. For some reason they tend to release on Friday. Uh, maybe it's on Monday, I have no idea. So they made some improvements here in Beta 5 for the audio system. And it says here at this point, when an audio interface is discovered while the program is open, the notification now has an option to don't show again for that particular device. And I wished we have this option or we had this option for all the notifications on the top right here, because there are sometimes uh, when you install Bitwig Studio for the first time, it nags you actually to download or to install the factory presets. And sometimes you don't want to do that, but there's no way to get rid of this notification. It stays there until you install all the factory presets. So I wish we had this also for all the notifications here. Um, then also you have some audio system fixes. I actually never experienced some uh, problems with the audio system. Um, for myself, it was pretty fine to me. Then I also saw someone here on the Discord talking about this autoplay functionality works again in the file browser tab. So this was a problem. Um, then here presets were sometimes sounding incorrectly on initial load. I also never experienced this for myself in the beta, but nice that it's fixed. Uh, but this one here I showed you in the last video. Note FX selector, instrument selector, and FX selector container device no longer enter an infinite loop in the audio engine. I guess this was my problem with the crash in the last video. So they fixed this here and I also tested this and it kind of works. Um, I also showed you something in the last video about chaining these Note FX selector devices. And yeah, I made some kind of mistake there, of course. Um, but I want to show you this here again and some thinking that went behind it, right? So let's say we have a multi node and we want to create your chords. So we go into the node clip and we use here something C3 to C4. Um, yeah, let's do something simple here, just some chords. Okay, so we play some chords here, we put this into a node FX layer, or this minor, because this is a minor chord. And then we switch this here to a node FX selector. And we duplicate this and say this is a major, so we raise this here. And then we say this is sus2, pull this down. Okay, so now we want to switch between these chords FX here uh, with key switches from let's say C1 to C2. So we can use here key switches and then use MIDI learn and press just C1. So now we have here C1 to D1. So C1 is the first layer, um, C sharp is the second and D is the third layer. So now we can paint this here in and just select a different layer. And it works flawlessly. There's no delay. It's not like that it sometimes selects the wrong layer. It works neatly and tight. I'm pretty happy about this, to be honest. But then I showed you to um, showed you something to uh, chain these node FX selectors here. Let's say with um, transpose and no transpose here. And yeah, let's call this zero um, zero. Uh, convert this here to node FX selector, duplicate, and here we say this is plus seven, so a fifth higher. And here again, another fifth higher, so 14, and maybe an octave lower, also an octave lower. So now we want to use here, um, let's say the notes from C0 to C1 as a selector, right? So we go here also to key switches and then we use MIDI learn and then we um, go here or press C0. So this also works. You can see we switch here between the layers, but we also play a chord. And the reason for that is that we also pass through these layers here, this node selector or FX selector node, right? So um, this first node FX selector only uses these nodes here or prevents these nodes to go through um, 
the FX here uh, because we selected here the base key and yeah, basically the base key. So it uses these nodes to select the layer and all the rest of the nodes to actually pass the nodes through the layer and through this uh, node FX device. Um, so it also uses then these keys down here, right? Because they are not part of these nodes. So this, this is a problem. So having this node down here, it actually creates a chord. So we can see this here, virtual keyboard. Um, right, we create basically a chord. We not only play C0, what, what we need to select here, we also play all the other nodes. So that's a problem, um, or actually it's not a problem, but for this um, kind of setup, it's a problem. So my solution for this is to actually use uh, channels. So we want to say, to select the first layer here, we want to use uh, channel two, and here we want to choose channel three, and this is channel one. I have no idea why this is uh, three by default. Um, but this also doesn't work. It selects here a different layer, but you can hear this one triggers a chord. So I want to prevent actually these nodes to go into these uh, layers here. And I do this by using here this uh, channel selector. No, it's, it's, it's called channel selector. It's maybe channel filter. So we only want to use channel one. Um, I think this is enough. One to same. So now only nodes with the channel one go through these node FX layers here. That's the first goal. But now we are missing here kind of this um, yeah, this node, because this is on channel three. So it's not going through these layers. So we need to open up here another layer. Um, we put something on there, something random. Pass channel three. That's the, that's the, that's the goal the task of this layer. So here, uh, we say we only want to have channel three go through that. And then it works. Um, I know it's a bit complicated to set up and it probably gets more complicated if you want to chain three of these devices, um, but it kind of works. Um, I wish we could actually have some filters in here or let certain channels pass or something like this so we don't have to do this here uh, but this kind of works so now these two nodes select these layers here and also go one higher and channel one goes through here through this layer and then through this layer But it works and it's tight. Uh, it's it's not a problem or anything at all. So this kind of works and it was like my mistake in the last video that I actually thought um, this should work, but it's a bit more complicated than that. So this setup works. Uh, I want to show you this and also inform you that beta 5 is available. So head over to bitwigstudio.com or bitwig.com and download the newest beta version. That's it for me. Leave a like, leave a subscription. See you in the next video. Bye.